H Limited acquired 3,000 shares in S Limited at a cost of rupees 4 lakh 80,000 on 31st July 2016. The capital of S Limited consisted of 5,000 shares of rupees 100 each fully paid. The profit and loss account for this company for 2016 showed an op opening balance of 1 lakh 25,000 and profit for the year was rupees 3 lakhs. At the end of the year, it declared a dividend of 40%. Record the entry in the books of H Limited in respect of the dividend. Assume calendar year as the financial year. So H Limited is acquiring 3,000 shares out of 5,000 shares. So that means our holding is 60%. Right. So we say that H Limited has purchased 3,000 shares out of the 5,000 shares. So 60% holding is there in S limited and we have acquired this on 31st July 2016. So our acquisition date is 31st July 2016 and later on they are clarifying that consider the calendar year as the financial year itself. So we are dealing with the year 2016. Now they are saying that the profit and loss account for this company had an opening balance of 125 and profit is 3 lakhs. At the end of the year, it declared a dividend of 40%. Okay. So, first of all, let's find out the dividend. So, we say dividend declared by S Limited. S Limited has 5,000 shares. Shares are of 100 rupees each and the rate of dividend is 40%. So 5,000 into 100 into 40%. The amount of dividend is turning out to be 2 lakhs. Right, so the amount of dividend is 2 lakhs. We are having 60% shares, so we say dividend received by h limited dividend received by h limited will be 2 lakhs into 60 percent so that will turn out to be rupees 1 lakh 20 thousand so the amount of dividend received by the parent is 1 lakh 20. we are supposed to record an accounting entry in the books of the parent so yes we will analyze for the parent we have to now find out that for what period the dividend has been paid, right? For what period the dividend has been paid. If we see the question, they are saying at the end of the year, it declared a dividend. At the end of the year. If you are declaring dividend at the end of the year, obviously that dividend is for the current year. See, I will not pay dividend of the next year at the end of the year. So that's not possible. So this dividend obviously is for the current year. Okay. So, dividend is for the period, dividend is for the year, let's say, we say dividend for the year dividend like problem in the drafting, you'll say dividend is for the year dividend is for the year 2016 right that is 1st january 2016 to 31st december 2016 now see parent has purchased the shares on 31st july so we say h limited purchased shares on 31st July 2016. So 1st January to 31st July will be pre-acquisition period and 1st August till 31st December, that shall be the post-acquisition period. So we say H Limited purchase shares on 31st July 2016, right? 31st July 2016. So we say dividend for the period Dividend for the period 1st January 2016 to 31st July 2016, 
that is seven months seven months okay is pre-acquisition okay it is pre-acquisition so this dividend will turn out to be for the pre-acquisition period what more and dividend for the period dividend for the period 1st august 2016 to 31st december 2016 that is five months right that is five months is post acquisition is post acquisition right pre-acquisition dividend remember will be credited to the investment account we say pre-acquisition dividend is credited to credited to investment account and post acquisition dividend post acquisition dividend is credited to profit and loss account right i'll credit it to the pnl so if they're asking me to record a journal entry i will now do that What shall be our journal entry for the dividend that we are receiving? We will say bank account debit, right? 1,20,000. That's the total amount of dividend that we are receiving. Two, investment account. Two, investment account. Investment account. Total dividend is 1,20,000 into 7 by 12. 7 months dividend will go to the investment account. And then we say to profit and loss account. The post acquisition dividend will be credited to the PNL. That will be 1,20,000 into 5 by 12. Or you can say the balancing figure, isn't it? So 120 into 7 divided by 12, that is turning out to be 70,000. This will turn out to be 50,000. So that is our accounting entry. 